So we're moving right along through the team mock draft series. And the next team up is the Atlanta Falcons. And I think that they're certainly an interesting team. Bringing back Desmond Ritter for another year as the starter. He's getting a full year, you know, to develop, learn the offense. And hopefully I got him some pieces that can maximize that. Mainly on defense, however, I think that that was a unit that needed a lot of help. And you guys really did address it. Calais Campbell, Jeff Okuda, Jesse Bates, a lot of good players, but let's go out and get them even better. Starting off at number eight, I took Jalen Carter, and I get it. There's character concerns. We don't know how high he's going to go, but at eight, if the character concerns somehow you know, drift away and he becomes the player that we all think he can be, it's an absolute steal. Getting him in a room with somebody like Calais Campbell where he can learn and continue to grow, I think is absolutely huge. Moving on, number 44. I know you brought in Jeff Okuda, a really good, you know, strong man corner if he's healthy and consistent, but he hasn't been consistent or healthy throughout his career. So I went out and I got you a corner that I really like. I got to see in Mobile. I got to speak to actually in Tyreek Stevenson out of Miami. The dude is physical. He talks trash and he backs it up and that's what he did in Mobile and that's what he'll do for you guys. Moving on, I took a defensive lineman earlier. I'm taking a true edge this time. It's Derek Hall out of Auburn. I feel more of a true edge. You guys need more guys that can just get after the passer and there is never enough room for edges. And honestly, he probably shouldn't have even been here at this pick. So going out and getting somebody like him, I think a really big move there. Moving right along, pick 110. This is an interesting one. I figured, hey, this guy might not still be on the board in real life, but if he is, another strong pick in my book. It's Henry Toa Toa out of Alabama. I think you can go out and get a linebacker who performed well at Bama. That's a, obviously an SEC school. They're performing against top-level competition, and the NFL is going to be more of the same. So we'll see how that one goes, but I figured, why not? Moving on, pick 113. You guys, I figured, needed a receiver. I was looking at your team, and I'm like, is there a slot type here? Like Drake London can be a big slot, but you might want to play him on the outside sometimes. Let's go out and get more of a slot type, kind of a Jahan Dotson light. And he actually played at the same school as Jahan Dotson. It's Parker Washington, receiver who I really like. I think is going under the radar. Some of the best hands in the class, just pure hands. And then you don't have a pick for a while. You go from 113 to 224. And you have 224 and 225 back to back. And 224... I know I took a linebacker earlier, but this is a different type of player. This is somebody that could be the new wave of linebacker in the NFL. And it's D Winters. This is somebody who has probably the best speed at the position in the class. Kind of a hybrid type, might be kind of a dimebacker, even though he is more of a true linebacker. I think he's a really strong player. Somebody who, you know, might fall a little bit because he's not so complete on film. But the strengths, that's what you're looking for, is guys that just have maybe one really good trait. And that speed is a really good trait to me. So I took him. And with the last pick, I took another Bama guy. I figured, hey, you went out, you got Jesse Bates. Let's go add another different kind of safety into Marco Hellums. Obviously, the safety that nobody's really talking about because there's two other Alabama safeties in this very draft in Brian Branch and Jordan Battle, but DeMarco Hellams is still a good football player and a guy that, you know, maybe you sit him for a little bit, let him develop, and you just hope that you can find a role player because that's what the seventh round is all about. Let me know what you think. Obviously, not a lot of offense in this mock draft, but I figured a lot of the, the way the board fell, you had a lot of good values, in my opinion. So if you're a Falcons fan, let me know what you think. If you're not a Falcons fan, also let me know what you think. I would love to hear your opinion. We've got more mock drafts coming to Weeball very soon. And it is draft week, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one. Peace.